guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel if you are not new here. If you're new, hi, hello. Click the like button if you enjoy this video and don't forget to subscribe below. Also turn on the bell notification so you get notified whenever I upload a new vape video. I also do all the other social medias like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. I love Twitter to chat with you guys and I love Instagram story to like post my daily life stuff. So follow me over there if you're interested. I also have a second YouTube channel where I do non-vape related videos. So if you want to check that out, the link will be below as well. You can see what else I do out here on the internet land. And I also have a Patreon that is vape related. So it has monthly vape rewards. If that's something you want to join, you can check the link below as well. So let's get into it guys. I've got the Cascade by Vape Rest. So this is a Cascade tank. And again, this did come out some time ago. But as you guys told me on Twitter, a lot of you guys wait and don't buy things when they come out first brand new and you wait for the price to drop later. So this is now in a very price dropped range. This is the Cascade tank and I thought I needed to do this because I haven't done a Vape Resto product in a long, long time. No Tino shade. This is called the Cascade tank and I graduated from Cascade High School. So I wanted to do it. That's literally the only reason I'm like, oh my God, it's called Cascade. Literally the only reason. Otherwise, if it was like named something like Vapresso Everett, I would not. I'd be like, nah. So let's dive down close and personal with the Cascade. All right guys, here's the Cascade tank by Vapresso. And I know this came out a long time ago, but I went to Cascade High School. So I'm gonna do this video. In the kit, we have a spare glass tube and some extra O-rings and seals. On this side, we have the, which is the adapter, the GT adapter. And this, which is, let's see, a 0.4 ohm coil good between 40 and 80 watts. Look at that. That thing's huge. We also have a warning card, a warranty card, a little user's guide for the tank as well. Here is the tank. Does it have tinted glass or is that like, oh wow, and look at that drip tip. That's actually kind of cool. It's a huge freaking tank. It does have a 25 millimeter base diameter and can hold two mils or seven mils. What? And it is 60.5 millimeters tall and it comes with that 0.4 ohm and then installed it has a 0.15 ohm, good between 80 and 200 watts. It has a 510 connection on the bottom and adjustable airflow slots as well that are on a stopper. There's one, two, three. There's an arrow right here, shows you which way to push to fill in the fill port. The drip tip is removable, but it's really freaking cool. So I like it. Stay on. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and fill up the tank with some of my Cloud Kiss. It is my flavor, strawberry cake batter. You can use my code TIA20 for 20% off this 100 ml bottle available at usvapeco.com. That's U-S-V-A-P-E-C-O.com. All right, got some e-liquid in there. Let's put it on top of something and give it a vape. All right, guys, I don't know if it's gonna fit on here actually, but I wanna vape it and this is just like my go-to. Okay, good, it does It does fit the base with just like the tiniest little overhang. New coil and this is reading it at a 0.18, which is like fine, I guess. And we have it at 52.5 watts because why not? Let's, let's try it out. It has had plenty of time to wick, so. Um, first of all, I was not impressed by the flavor or the vapor. I'm gonna turn it up to 60 watts. I'm gonna put this on a different mod because that's, it's just not performing. It really tastes, I mean, that's my flavor. And I'm like, and I know that this was a super popular, sorry, this does not match at all, but I know that this has batteries charged in it. Um, so this was super, super popular. And it even, I think it even still is popular, but I'm not impressed so far. So I'll turn it up, we'll do 70, which that's high for me. Huh. I don't know guys, this might be, I might have got like a dud. I 
I mean, it's okay, but maybe my coil is a dud because this is not, for all of the hype that it had, maybe I'm just like, I don't know. I get way bigger clouds from my all day vape, which is this little bad boy right here, the crown four. I'm not really enjoying the flavor and that's my flavor. So I know that it, how it's supposed to taste and what it does taste like in different tanks and RDAs and whatnot. But uh, leave your comments below on what you think of the Cascade tank. Let's talk about it because right now I'm just like, huh, airflow is fine. Vapor reduction, mm, flavor, mm, I don't know if it's my coil. I, I think it is because so many people love this tank and probably still do. So let's talk about it in the comments below because I'm just like, I don't even want to vape on it. I don't even want to vape on it right now. So that's it for the video, but it's just a tank video. So they're very short. I hope you enjoyed. One more thing before you go, if vaping is something you're passionate about, please learn how you can fight for your right to vape. So as always, I'm Tia and thank you so much for watching. That vape kiss was with an RDA, not that tank. <laughs>